So good evening again and welcome to Fabriano in Aquarello 2022. And we start this afternoon with a great master, Luciano Colucci, dear friend also, and uh, the brand Royal Talents and a long list of uh, brands coming from the, um, uh, the joining venture of a, a big team. And Katie, is, she's here with us. You maybe remember Katie from last year webinar. She was great uh, doing the, uh, the artwork and explaining all the info and giving us all the information about Royal Talents products. This year we have uh, Luciano Colucci. He is supported by Royal Talents and FinTech and uh, all the many brands that uh, Katie is going to explain us and very welcome you all and feel free to ask all the questions you want to ask later on. Thank you a lot. Yes, so uh, oh, thank you very much, Anna, for the introduction. It's very nice. I'm really excited to be here again. Um, well, I'm, I'm actually, I'm not a watercolor artist, but I really love the technique. I think it's one of the most difficult techniques that I I have seen, I'm technical advisor for Royal Talent since around 10, 15 years, and I really admire everything that you are doing because, uh, yeah, it's, it's wonderful, it's, uh, you, you can't correct, it's, it's really the talent is coming out from, from, from you and, and from the brush you are using, so uh, I'm really excited and, and proud that I can represent Royal Talents. Um, today. So um, Royal Talents, I think, I hope at least, uh, or I'm pretty sure that you are knowing the brand because it's uh, the brand um, that was built up in 1899 in Apeldoorn. Apeldoorn is uh, around one hour from Amsterdam, distant, um, and it's a really old traditional uh, factory. We are also working with the Ministry um, of Culture in, uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, together with our laboratory, so we have our, our laboratory working also together with uh, many museums like Rijksmuseum, cooperation with Van, Van Gogh Museum, National Gallery. Uh, why? Because we, we like to support the artists, so that's why we have uh, different brands. So we've started with Rembrandt since 1899, um, and then we continue to uh, add more products depending on the need of the artist. So we always work together with artists to listen what, uh, what you actually uh, are looking for and what we could um, innovate or change. Um, and that's why we're really proud that we have uh, Rembrandt, Van Gogh, we have also acrylic brands like Amsterdam. Um, many don't know that Royal Talents is just a brand because they know the, um, it's a company, so because they know the brand. But we have also, um, of course, the other company, Sakura from Japan. So might be a possible that you know also the micron that we are using for making the fine lights and jelly rolls and many many more so i don't want to bore you with that but today today we are going to talk about uh, rembrandt watercolor of course and uh, uh, that's uh, our uh, let me say artist finest quality brand that we have then we have our van gogh brand which is also an artist quality uh, brand and uh, Fintech. I don't know if you know Fintech. Fintech is uh, pretty new in the market. So if you want to come and try out at our booth, please feel welcome. So we have uh, this new brand that we have um, uh, intro introduced not uh, many months ago. And these are pearlescent colors that uh, Luciano will uh, show you. Um, what is the specialty? Specialty, these are really vibrant colors similar to, to Rembrandt, so the finest pigment that you can find, but a little bit thicker in the cost consistency. But it's also based on gamma arabic, and these are um, highly quality pigments. Light, fast, of course. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited to announce you, of course, uh, Luciano. I was not expecting to say something today, so it's really improvised, so I hope uh, it's okay for you. I will be here just in case of you have any questions about uh, the brand. Uh, and then I would love to give the word to uh, Luciano. And uh, thank you all that you are attending our workshop. Thank you so much. Parlo in italiano. 
Ciao a tutti. Good evening. Io sono Luciano Colucci, sono italiano, ma vivo ormai a, alle Canarie, alle isole Canarie. Infatti sono il, il leader delle, de, delle isole Canarie e, e sono qui a rappresentare molto orgogliosamente Royal Talents. Luciano è italiano, ma ha vivuto da molti anni nelle Canary Islands. E, in fact, dal 2022 è il leader, uh, Fabriano Inacquarello, il leader per Canary Island. E è molto orgoglioso di essere qui oggi in the stage e è molto orgoglioso di rappresentare Royal Talents. Perché? Perché Royal Talents effettivamente. Allora, con, con Royal Talents. Quando ho iniziato a vedere il catalogo di Royal Talents, sono... Va bene? Ok. Sono ritornato bambino. Sono entrato in un negozio di giocattoli e ho iniziato a scegliere qualsiasi cosa. Perché? Io mi definisco un curioso creativo e sono un artista eclettico. Nonostante nasca come artista e realista, però con facilità passo dal realismo all'astrattismo senza problemi. He says that when he first time saw the product catalog of Royal Talents, he felt like a, a kid who goes in a shop full of uh, toys. And um, it is, he, he was like very excited to be able to choose with which uh, toys, so which product he could have been used to do art. And he's presenting himself as a... Um, curioso creativo. Ah, a curious and creative eclectic artist as um, he's able to, and, and believe me, he does, Uh, he is able to pass from hyperrealism uh, to ab abstract art and to any other kind of uh, relation with the paintings. And believe me, he does. <laughs> and uh, he, he is one of those artists that really surprised the audience. Um, mi piace rompere gli schemi, questo è certo. He, li he likes to be out of the schemes. To, to, to be um, someone who breaks the rules. E oggi andrò a dipingere tanto con gli acquerelli Van Gogh come i Rembrandt e spero di riuscirci anche con i Fight Take. E, sì. So now what, what is going to happen today is he, that he wants to mix Rembrandt and Van Gogh and Fintech that are the three Uh, brands uh, that Royal Talents is producing. E spero di riuscire a presentare questa meravigliosa scatola. And this is the box of colors from Fine Tech e Fine Tech. E, sì, e, e questa è la linea Flip Flop. The line is called Flip Flop. E flip Flop sono dei colori cangianti e quindi a seconda dell'inclinazione riflettono la luce in maniera differente. You see they are brilliant colors and uh, from the side the light goes on the color you see it in a different uh, shape of color. E quindi inizierò andiamo apriamo le danze. <laughs> Apriamo le danze. E manca. Ecco qua. Non ho voluto preparare la mia paletta perché volevo far vedere appunto la cremosità e brillantezza del colore mentre lo mettevo. 
he says that he didn't prepare his palette before to start because he wanted to do it in front of you so that you could have seen the creaming um, uh, thickness of the uh, colors. He wanted to share it with you. Non dipingerò con un soggetto, eh? quindi eh, sì, alla fine vado. <laughs> you see, he's surprising me. He said, I'm not going to paint a subject that is unusual in relation to what he has done in the past year, in the past year, but so he uh, is going to do an abstract. Do, un do I understand right? Luciano, fai un astratto? No, non faccio un astratto. Not ma, an abstract, ma, but... provo, oh, provo a fare qualcosa che sorprende, utilizzando i colori. Surprise. Quindi la mia, la, la mia intenzione è quella di dipingere un soggetto realista, però con coro, colori surrealisti. Ah. And, uh, um, what he wants to do is uh, one thing that is the opposite of the other, so he wants to do uh, uh, not a subject, but a subject done by um, uh, realistic uh, something, something with uh, unrealistic, sub-realistic sub colors. Let's see what happens. Are you ready? <laughs> Questo è un nero di Rembrandt con una saturazione eh, molto, molto bella. Riesce a coprire perfettamente il, il foglio bianco. E questo lo mettiamo da parte. E lo facciamo asciugare. So this is done and this, is, this goes apart. So we wait for it to be uh, dry and we go on with something else. L'acqua è diventata completamente nera. Qui il pigmento, il pigmento, no, cioè, il pigmento è puro. <laughs> So Luciano says that as long as the uh, water is completely black, this means that the pink, big pigment is very pure. Good. Well, well done, Royal Talent. <laughs> ok. No, con questo. E quindi andiamo con... Allora, io partirei con eh, i Van Gogh. I Van Gogh sono, ah, la linea Van Gogh, come si potrà vedere anche dal, da, dal catalogo che potete vedere nello stand, potrete eh, prenderlo tranquillamente, e contiene 72 colori, è una linea che ha 72 colori, molti migliorati e tantissimi nuovi. Effettivamente è una linea è, è fantastica e che posso consigliare tranquillamente per eh, poter... E iniziare la tecnica dell'acquerello perché sono per iniziare è un, un, un prodotto d'eccellenza per, ah. per iniziare il Rembrandt è una linea professionale eccezionale uh, Luciano says that he is going to start with Van Gogh line as Van Gogh are um, uh, very good uh, to start this job uh, intendi anche per iniziare a dipingere o per iniziare, sì, per gli apprendisti, per... Ok, go on. Yeah? Ok, um, just, he's explained very nice, I'm just going to uh, translate it also uh, in English. Um, actually, it was meant to be a studio quality paint, Van Gogh, but we made the experience during also the last uh, couple of years during the festival, the people are seeing it as an artist quality, because the pigments are extremely uh, good quality, 
and you can find also with the new colors that we added um, an assortment that it's also for fine art uh, professional artists so that's the price level is the studio quality but uh, some people are nodding here yes so that's what we heard because we made a survey uh, under the the artist so it's called the studio quality paint but actually it's perceived as a artist quality brand Ah, in questa pittura surrealista, o meglio, in questi colori surrealisti. Uh, I was just asking if I should do the translation, so, so she can go to eat, Anna. She was, yeah? Okay, good. So I, if, you, if you don't mind, I will take over, because she's, she was working the entire days and nights. So uh, I will hope uh, I will do the translation. If it's, it's okay? Okay, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> tell me again. No. E, mh, dicevo che per, eh, eh, visto che voglio utilizzare praticamente dei colori surrealisti Ok, since he wants to use some colors who are sur surrealistic in the meaning of uh, Mi piace utilizzare pochi colori So he likes to use just a few color tones to do that Per un motivo, perché e voglio far vedere e voglio mostrare effettivamente la qualità del pigmento. Ok, just la for the reason why he wants really to show the saturation of the, the, the uh, high pigmentation of the color itself. So that's why it's going to limit it it's just in a few pigments at first when it's going to start. I colori che sto utilizzando sono un rosa, un verde turchese e un indigo. Ok, I'm going just to take my glasses. <laughs> I'm in the age where I, I need glasses as well. Rose? Ok, so... Ok. So the rose, because I... Uh, it's better if turquoise green. Turquoise green, I think you indigo. hear him. And the indigo. Ok. Yes, <laughs> just go, go on. <laughs> That's fantastic. We have seen uh, many artists who are um, uh, combining Van Gogh and Rembrandt and also using, I don't know if you know that we have also the Sakura brand, as I was mentioning before in the introduction. Um, and we have seen that, uh, for example, that the jelly roll, the white ones, are used extremely well uh, from um, watercolor artists because then you can also use it to, to giving some light uh, and reflection also in, in, in the water, etc. So, and he's doing now the, the Van Gogh, but of course it's the same base, it's always Gamma Arabic, so you, can, you could uh, combine it together. The same goes also to Fine Tech, of course. For my friend, where is he? So che a Isabella lo sete, questi colori forti piacciono so, molto. So Isabella, I don't know who Isabella Beh, is. No, è, è stava, è, è stava lì, però non... Ok, non maybe she went to... Uh, no problem. Out for a second. But as, uh, he was saying that uh, his friend uh, Isabella is also Isabella loving... Isabella is the uh, leader of, of Spain. Oh, the leader of Spain, yeah. Yeah. Also loving these bright colors. The, the first leader of Spain. I have, I have to say that when, when I've started uh, at Royal Talents, everyone was using the, uh, the pans. Huh? So that's, that was really, you couldn't find artists who were using tubes. And I've seen in the last couple of years that uh, more and more people are using the tubes. It doesn't matter which brand, because just you can work in another, in another way, I've been told. As I said, I'm not a watercolorist as you are, um, but it's, it's it's nice to see uh, that uh, it, it's, it's really changing also from, from the, a little bit the trends. I don't know if you have seen this, the trend this year was a lot of granulation colors. Have you oh. noticed that, that people um, were you also looking for granulation colors? And three years ago it was uh, lavender. So uh, everyone was looking at the lavender uh, every booth. So it's for me always interesting ah. to see. Okay, I don't know.
So you see, it's Van Gogh, but it really looks vibrant. So the pigments are so extremely uh, a good quality that uh, in this new, new uh, developed colors, you really don't see a, a huge difference also to the, to the artist quality. Io generalmente dipingo con la musica, però. Ok, usually is, uh, yeah, is working with music, so if you want to sing something, feel free. But um, I know... Um, I se, how se ballo non vi preoccupate. <laughs> non ok, <laughs> so I think it's better if it's not starting uh, to dance. But I think it's... Uh, do you have the same that you like to, to use uh, music when you are painting? Or is it in watercolors not that much common, do you? Yeah? Okay, it's, it's interesting, because my, my colleagues from, for acrylic and oil, let me say, uh, 80 to 90 percent love to use, uh, to hear the background music. I was wondering how, uh, how watercolor artists are, are doing that, because it's required technique. Although I've seen two artists today also from Spain, they were, it was really dynamic, really, really fast painting, and uh, yeah, learning every, every time I see you. So now you are using which color? The, the Turkish one you were saying, right? Okay, still on the three, okay. Correct. Good. Just in case, you should go once to uh, the Netherlands, meanwhile he's uh, painting. Um, in Apeldoorn we have the Experience Center. It's um, a beautiful showroom um, that people can go and it's, it's open for, for the public and then um, there is the, the entire range of royal talents who can be bought directly um, and of course of the same price like, uh, like you would in retail of, of course but it's an experience why because they are giving also workshops and factory tour in the company um, and then you can see how the products are being produced uh, I'm really proud that today, for example, my, I hope she's not going to be angry about me. My colleague uh, Sabine Hartog is here. She is a brand manager of uh, Rembrandt and Van Gogh. So hello, she's just arrived from the Netherlands. And uh, yeah, so it's, it would be nice. Once, if you go to the Netherlands, think about our experience center in uh, Appledorn. Aspettiamo un attimo che nel frattempo si, si asciughi. Um, Io non amo utilizzare il, il phon. So he doesn't like to use the hair dryer. And actually for watercolor it's okay, but we don't recommend it for oil and acrylic. Because it's going to change um, the consistency of the paint. Watercolor, it, because it's more based of pigments and uh, gum arabic, it, it doesn't matter. But if you should also paint additional to watercolor, acrylic and oil, don't use the hair dryer, please. <laughs> OK, questo invece, vediamo. So let's see if this is right. Sì, a parte questa parte che effettivamente non, non, non vedevo bene con... Uh, so it's uh, difficult to see, of course, with the light, but uh, I can see it from here. It's really opaque, so um, it's on the purpose he wants to have it. So if you're looking for opaque colors, you can also find it in our range. I think it can be very important in uh, also very trendy, modern uh, way, way to paint. I'm curious myself. I have no idea. It's the first time I meet also uh, <laughs> Luciano. Surprise. Really, I, I love this. Um, experimental painting a lot myself. So what are you going to show us, Luciano? We are so curious. Okay. Pa -pa. <laughs> okay. Uh, in this case, uh, in questo caso, uh, utilizzerò i Rembrandt. Okay, so sì. in, in this case... Mi 
He's going to use the Rembrandt paint. I Rembrandt è la linea professionale. I Rembrandt, su, sui Rembrandt non si può dire nulla. So e sono 121 colori o 120? 120. 120. So as we, as we were mentioning already, it sounds like a promotion slogan thing today, but it's really, he really loves the, the Rembrandt products. Sono 120 um, colori. In 120 colors, we added a lot of monopigmented, so please have a look as, at our new assortment. Uh, and it's really the highest artist quality uh, brand. Um, La maggior Rembrandt. parte dei quali sono monopigmentati. Most of them are monopigmented. E ci sono eh, perché effettivamente eh, la cartella colori è, è, è nuovissima, tant'è che ci sono 46 colori nuovi. So actually, um, it's already mentioned 46 colors which uh, we have additional to um, the colors we had before. So we have like interference and chameleon colors and monopigmentation. E tantissimi altri che sono stati migliorati. And a lot of uh, have been proved uh, the recipe. So, um, yeah, it was just the last time we have been in Fabriano, so <laughs> it's going to be new for you. For you. E poi per me, che sono un eclettico e uno sperimentatore, tutti nuovi, e con, uh, che, che brillano, uh, io li okay. adoro. So, um, <laughs> as, you, as you have seen before, he's a really experimental painter. So he, re he really loves everything which is, uh, is new in the um, chameleon colors, interference colors, uh, sparkling colors, everything which is uh, giving the spark into the paint, which is new. Uh, he loves to, to use. Rembrandt. Mi piacerebbe sapere anche quanto tempo ho a disposizione. Um, adesso sono meno un quarto. Tre meno un quarto. Tre meno un quarto, abbiamo iniziato tardi. Yeah, he started a little bit later, so I think we, we give him 20 minutes, right? So, because that's just more than fair. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's preparing the palette. Devo andare, Dimmi. devo andare veloce. No, no, piano piano. Meanwhile, so that we don't stress him, I would like to make a call for artists. Um, I'm wondering, who is painting Van Gogh of you? Not many, you should try, okay. You should really try, yeah, that you miss the others who didn't, uh, who didn't use it yet. Um, we are actually also starting, um, it's still not, not, not uh, official, but uh, so we are going to talk about that. But just that you know that we are also looking for a special campaign, some watercolor artists that are using Van Gogh that we would like to interview and show where they are living. And um, yeah, we have some very nice project together with uh, Sabine, who is here, and her team. Um, and yeah, and of course there will be also Rembrandt, but that's uh, just, we had it already three years ago, so uh, it's not planned at the moment. Yeah. Per ora sì. So the question was this, uh, if he's using only uh, one brush. Yes, you had a question as well. Uh, maybe I'm coming down. It's better. I didn't know I would do a, a moderation today, so I was kind of, <laughs> hope it's, it's okay. Yes. So, uh, I, I was trying yesterday the, the sparkling colors, the interference color, and I see i saw the difference between the spark. It's, they are more richer, like uh, opaque than the others. And, and I was wondering what, which is the difference in the pigment and why is, is that like that? Okay, so that's, uh, that's a very good question. She was actually asking about the difference. Uh, I think you were using also interference. All of them. So these are all Mika product, uh, pigments, um, the highest quality uh, you can find. Um, they were made special for uh, royal talents. That means that um, some pigments are really just done to give a spark, so they are staying differently in the color itself. 
and other are giving this interference. Interference means that uh, you can really see this pearl, pearl effect. So depending on the effect we were looking for, we really worked many years to, to do this. So the pigment are from, um, they are called mica pigment, as you know, um, but we really adjusted on the, on the need that we, we had it. So that's why some are a little bit thicker and other, depending on the need or what we wanted to achieve, are a little bit thinner. Are some other questions? Cosa ho detto? Ah, scusi. Allora, eh, aveva chiesto perché c'è la differenza tra eh, i pigmenti eh, della, della Rembrandt, dove ci sono quelli di Spark, ci sono quelli Interferenza, Chameleon, tutti questi prodotti specializzati, e dipende dal, dal pigmento, dal, dall'effetto che noi cercavamo, abbiamo scelto questi mica pigmenti, l'hanno fatto apposta per noi, e alcuni sono nel modo di utilizzarlo un po' più, uh, più grossani da, da lavorarci che invece altri che utilizziamo uh, che sono più trasparenti come pigmenti, meno pesanti anche. Another language? No? <laughs> ok. In spagnolo, in spagnolo. In spagnolo non è molto buono. No, ripetimi, ripetimi in, eh, ripetimelo in, in, in italiano. Che hai detto? Cosa? Quello che hai detto. No, non lo ripeto, l'ho ripetuto prima, adesso no, no, non mi fate fare brutta figura. So, no, no cioè, perché altrimenti... So, ma ma in spagnolo... Sì, lo hablo in spagnolo, però ho olvidato... No, no, ma non per... Oh, l'avrei la, la, tradotto io in, in spagnolo. That's what I wanted to say, so I'm not going to start with Spanish if he is the professional Spanish speaking. No, no, it's uh, good that I didn't know that yesterday, otherwise I would have been really afraid to come here and to talk to you, but now I'm, it was by surprise, so I'm not so nervous. But you are the star, not me, so if you want to say something, I'm just going to translate whatever language, no, I'm just joking. So which colors are you using? Um, Now, the orange, for example. Una pregunta, okay. Wait, coming. Quando lo tengo? Yes. Grazie. Eh, Luciano, Luciano. Sì. Eh, ¿Alguno de esos pigmentos es de mica? ¿Será el verde o no? O ni, ¿Son pigmentos normales? ¿Esto que estás empleando ahora? No, esto, lo, lo de que, que son de mica son fine tech. Eso sí. Sí, pero, pero vas, en este, vas en este a aplicar caso? posteriormente. No, no te he entendido. Los colores que tú estás utilizando ahora mismo son pigmentos normales, digamos, no son los de mica, ¿no? ¿En qué parte de, de la demostración que tú estás haciendo, porque yo no utilizo nunca esos pigmentos, ah, vas, vale. a utilizar, vas a utilizar los pigmentos de mica? Sí, en la última. Ah, de acuerdo, gracias. <risa> en la última. Gracias. Ahora... I, I missed, uh, sorry, because I was talking to the uh, reporter uh, from the newsletter themes. Um, can you maybe just say what was the message so that I can translate it in, in English? Dimmelo in italiano. No, cosa, cosa volevi, cosa di, dicevate adesso? Di Voleva sapere quando andavo ad utilizzare i colori con, con l'amica, quindi praticamente i fine tech. Ah, perché okay. i fine tech contengono l'amica. Yeah. E allora a quel punto ho detto che lo farò per ultimo. Ok, ok. So he's going to use the fine tech as last. Uh, as he was saying, yeah, in the, in the fine tech for the, uh, the mica pigments. And also in the Rembrandt, in, the, in this very special uh, colors are, are the same. The other, of course, are um, just normal pigments that we are using, organic or not organic, depending. Ok. Anche in questo caso lo mettiamo un attimo da parte e prendo l'altro. Ok. Qui cambio pennello. <laughs> So he's using also a brush.
May, may I ask who knows FinTech? Nobody of you? Okay, that's, that's going to be interesting. Um, what, you, what you need to know, but um, Luciano will tell you for sure. Uh, afterwards, we will see. These are colors that you need a little bit to use with uh, more water. So it's a little bit more um, thicker from the consistency because it's always with the mica pigment a little bit like that. But um, so that just you know, when you are using it, you can do also calligraphy with it. You can do a lot of other um, techniques. Um, actually, we have had um, in 2019, when it was the 120th uh, year of the death of Rembrandt, so it's a bit, a bit strange that we celebrated that, but we celebrated together with uh, the Rijksmuseum, and we have selected 12 artists all around the world, and there were also um, some professional uh, watercolor artists that we have visited. Um, one was from Cornwall, Max Hale, was giving a lot of workshops um, and he was also like uh, Luciano experimenting so that you did you see the objects but you you use it in a really modern uh, modern way and uh, it was nice to see that uh, actually he's going to hang his uh, painting this year together with the other Rembrandt ambassadors in the Rijksmuseum. Rijksmuseum is the second biggest museum of the world and Royal Talents um, gave them the opportunity to dine in the honor room together with the Night Watch of Rembrandt and having one evening their uh, painting hanging and one will be um, painted the watercolor with Rembrandt. So we're extremely excited about that. We had to wait three years because of COVID. Um, yeah, so just a small information while Luciano is painting. <laughs> <laughs> Io continuo perché. No, 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 it's, it's clear. I mean, I'm, I'm using uh, actually acrylic, and I'm, uh, that's why I'm so excited what you are doing. Sometimes I have weeks until I finish my painting. I wish I would be a little bit faster. Uh, so I know how that is, it takes time. We were looking for someone who would show you something a little bit maybe different that you see every day under the uh, beautiful watercolor that I've seen in the exhibition. Uh, and we were really proud when uh, Luciano said that you would join us uh, during the festival. And um, yeah, it's, I, I love it extremely to see all these bright colors. It's more or less the colors I use for my own paintings. So for you, just important. When it's the same binder like Gomarabic, if it's added, in, not in our case, but there are some brands which are added uh, also. Um, honey, for example. Important is always the base. The base is the Gomarabic. It's from the Alcazi uh, tree, which is a natural resin. And when it's the same base, you can combine everything together. That means you could also combine, we have also 
um, Ecoline brush pens, for example, they are also based on uh, gum arabic. When the base is the same, don't be, don't be worry, uh, don't worry about combining everything. And the Sakura pens that I was telling you before is not going to use them today, but if you want to do some details, you can use also Sakura pens, which are light, fast, uh, and waterproof, and to make your detail paintings. Drawing, so it's more drawing. Ah, penso che già si inizi a vedere comunque quello che voglio, che voglio rappresentare. So, I, he hopes you already, already can see what he wants to, to show you with it. Because you are living in Gran Canaria, right? Fuerteventura. Ah, oh, Fuerteventura, okay. Maybe, Aluciano, if I can ask you, could you then put the, the painting a little bit more uh, above? Because I think they can't see the, 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 the below part of it. Non riescono a vedere la parte di giù. Di sotto, ecco, sì. grazie. Eh, riesci? Sì. sì. Ok, solo se riesci, eh? Allora, quello che io voglio andare mh, ad ottenere comunque con questi colori. So what he wants to achieve with this color è, è far fluire l'acqua e quindi far eh, mescolare i colori eh, tra di loro, sicuramente nel momento in cui si secca. Okay, he wants that the, the colors flow um, under each other so that once the moment that they are dry e otterremo un risultato molto, mo, molto gradevole, almeno per me, perché naturalmente eh, si creeranno delle macchie eh, molto particolari. So, because once the, the paint will be dry, um, there will be this special effect of some spots are going to be dry, the other are going to be still wet, and at least what he's saying, he loves that, this effect, uh, and that's what he wants to um, achieve actually uh, today with this technique. really love it, Luciano, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Any questions so far? Let me walk a little bit, so, no, no questions? lo lasciamo un attimo asciugare e finisco so we let it dry and then he uh, continues with the next one già qui non so se si vede se si riesce a, a, a vedere che si sta asciugando so e sta 
creando un effetto granulato. So if you if you can see already because it's uh, it's drying up, uh, you can see this granulation effect that he um, achieved with this technique. Questo per me è finito. So for him this is finished. Ok. E lo mettiamo da parte. Poi lo vediamo, li vediamo tutti insieme. Very nice. Oh. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. <laughs> wow, Luciano, well done. Thank you. Thank you very much, Luciano Colucci. Gabriele. Who has been working for Rembrandt and making uh, beautiful experiments and giving us the possibility to try ourselves, if we like. Yes, please feel free to come to our booth. Uh, we welcome you. We have a lot of uh, samples to give, dot cards to give out. We have the fine tech as well to use. Please really feel free. We are there the entire days until Saturday evening. Quindi ognuno è libero di poter andare nella zona Brands e provare liberamente i loro materiali. Con molto piacere, veramente. Chi vuole venire? Venite. In spagnolo non so come si dice. Poi? Sì? Venite. Venite. Aussi bienvenue a tout le monde qui est de la France. Sì, c'è lo stand, c'è lo stand della Rembrandt. Hai, hai lo stand di Rembrandt, della de Talens, mm -hmm. sì, dove hai Rembrandt, Van Gogh, Paintech. E luego al lado hai Momarte eh, che vende lo prodotto. Vale? E nada? E ese è l'altro. E a chi? Muchas gracias. <laughs> Gra Fantastic. Thank you so much, Luciano. Thank you no. so much. Thank you so much, Royal Tavern. Was... Thank you so much, Katia. Thank no, you very much. Our pleasure. Thank you so much to uh, Fabriano Watercolor. Uh, I know Anna now since three or four years, and I, I know she's doing an amazing job with all the team of Fabriano Watercolor. I, I just know you from, your name is, I'm sorry. Gabriele Gabriela, I've never talked to you. But thank you so much for this opportunity and for everyone who joined. You want to say something? Okay, eh, seguitemi think? sui social così eh, finirò e eh, vi mostrerò come funzionano i Fintech. Ok, great. So he's going to finish <laughs> on, on social media account. Please follow Luciano Colucci on his uh, Instagram account. And he's going to finish the painting with Instagram because the time is already e gone. E para los españoles, colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. Sí, seguitelo <laughs> su Instagram e finirà il quadro. Grazie mille a tutti, grazie. 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 Now the next workshop we're going to have is portrait workshop. And it will be held by Lorena Massa. Now she will come here and start preparing the site to work. Mm -hmm.